welcome to our class today. My name is Negedu Godwin and I'm your regular anchor. So today we're going to be discussing principles of real-time scanning and transducer types. I want to show my sincere appreciation to these wonderful people who have contributed greatly to my knowledge. So real-time imaging is the production of motion picture of anatomy. You know, real-time scanning will require rapid, continuous, uh, sequential, and automatic scanning of the beam through the region of interest. And there are two types or two principal methods by which we can accomplish a real-time scanning. There is the mechanical scanning and the electronic scanning. The mechanical scanning is by mechanical transducers, while the electronic scanning is by electronic array transducers. Real-time mechanical uh, scannings were used in the mid-70s. Uh, These mechanical transducers are now um, obsolete. They, there were several different types of mechanical real-time uh, transducers at the time. A mechanical uh, transducer contained a single disc-shaped active element or, trans, uh, or uh, crystal that is moved or rotates through a pathway which allows beam to be electronically stared and, and scanned throughout a sector field. It produces a sector uh, field of view or a pie shape display in which the, the near field is narrower and the far field becomes progressively uh, wider. The mechanical sector transducers were of two types. The single element transducer, these ones always have, they're always with fixed focus. Um, we have the annular array transducers, they have, which have a variable uh, focus. The advantages of mechanical uh, transducers, the scan heads make contact with small area of the skin, which you will call the, the acoustic footprint. So, so at such, the mechanical transducers were very good for imaging uh, through small acoustic windows, such as um, in between ribs. They are relatively simple and inexpensive, and they are easy to maintain. But the disadvantage uh, is that as the beam reach uh, ever increasing depths, because they produce this sector uh, shape image or field of view, the scan lines begin to go become further apart. And this phenomenon will result to decrease partial resolution and increase, and of course, decrease quality as the depth um, increases. So it becomes poor in quality the deeper you go. But mechanical, uh, also mechanical transistors create side, side loops. Now this image gives you a sketch of um, mechanical transistors, some types and their parts, and also that of the electronic. Whereas array transducers, which um, almost all modern transducers are electronical arrays, but, but again, an array, trans, uh, an array is the collection of active elements or crystals within a single transducer assembly. Now, each active element is connected to its own electric um, circuitry and is isolated from its neighboring crystal. 
both electronically and acoustically. They don't, um, in, they don't relate. So, hence, the active element in the array can be fired individually or together to form uh, the beam. So, using the combination of the elements, the array transducers can form a much more precise beam than that of the old mechanical transducer. There are three types of array transducers. There's the linear array uh, transducer, there's a the phase array transducer, there's an the annular array transducer. All arrays are capable of electronical fo uh, focusing. All arrays move the beam electronically to produce uh, a 2D real-time image. The image format produced by array transducers will depend on the type of array. And it, it can be a rectangular image format, sector or pie shape uh, image format, or trapezoidal image format. But aperture, we've discussed that in other uh, lectures, but we, I need to buttress it here because of what we're talking about. Aperture describes the number of active elements that are paused as a group to produce a sound beam. Now, this type of arrangement varies with different types of array. Individual elements in an array are very narrow and have small surface area, surface or aperture. The process of controlling pausing to individual or group of elements in an array is uh, referred to as phasing. And phasing is a process which is unique to uh, transistor array as opposed to the single element mechanical transistor. So phasing can be used to control the direction of sound beam only, or it can be used to vary the position or sometimes the length of uh, the focal zone. And this is called electronic uh, focusing. The timing pattern of the electronic um, electrical your pausing to each element that is forming the aperture will determine the beam direction and the focusing characteristics. In linear array transducers, a collection of active elements are arranged in, in a line. So linear array produces a sound beam by firing subgroup of elements in the array. So typically, they do that in a subgroup of eight to 10 elements that will be fired to produce the sound beam. And each, uh, they, they produce the sound beam and each uh, scan lines. So each successive scan line is formed by switching or pausing adjacent subgroup of elements in a sequential fashion along the length of the array. But think of a linear um, sequential array as being similar to uh, the keyboard of a, of a piano, right? You, you can hit each key in sequence or five adjacent key in, in a group starting at one end and you move to the other end to produce a distinct sound for each key or a mixture of uh, the five mixture of sound for the five uh, keys. The sound produced by pausing five elements simultaneously is geometrically different than if you are um, uh, pausing a single element in sequence. Yeah? Using a subgroup of elements will reduce beam divergence that would be produced if only one single element was used to produce that beam. So the wavelength interference between the wave between the wavelengths emitted from each element in the group it will determine the shape, the focus, and the um, intensity characteristics of that of that beam. 
there are four different types of linear array transistors. There's the linear sequential array or linear sequential, uh, or rather, switch array. Yeah, there is the convex curve linear or what you call the curve sequential array. There's a linear phase array. There's a convex uh, linear, there's a convex, there's a curve linear or curve phase array. The linear sequential array produce rectangular field of view using, uh, usually they have large acoustic footprints like uh, six to uh, 10 centimeter large footprints, yeah? And, you basically, and usually they are used for obstetric scanning. But now, most obstetric scans are done with a convex linear array, or what you want to call cover linear. So small footprint rectangular linear sequential arrays, which is about six centimeter, are used for vascular studies, like a, a carotid or peripheral vascular study. Linear sequential arrays can be electronically focused and may provide pulse wave Doppler or color Doppler in addition to the real-time 2D display and M mode. The disadvantage is that all the scan lines are parallel to each other rather than diverge, diverging as in the case of a convex array, or phase array or annular array. Now, this means that the image quality in the far field is better in rectangular linear array than in other arrays. Since, electron, um, since electronically focused, um, uh, it can be electronically focused, unlike the mechanical transducer, there are no moving parts readily wear out. So unlike the, the mechanical transducer. The disadvantage here is that a large acoustic footprint requires a large contact area with the skin to construct an image. They cannot be used when acoustic when the acoustic windows are small uh, like um, in between the intercostal space. They cannot be used in such cases. So when an element or a crystal of a linear array malfunctions, a single line of image data that extends downward from the transducer will drop out. Basically, you don't see anything when that um, element or crystal begin to malfunction, but you see in the other area of the field of view. So this is an image to give you an idea of the linear sequential array with a rectangular field of view. Convex sequential, these are arrays that operate the same way as linear sequential array. Each pulse is sent out directly in front of the subgroup that is fired. However, the surface of the array is convex or curved. The active elements are arranged in an arc. Now this directs the beam in a wide arc and gives the convex array a significantly wide uh, field of view. Now the beam diverges as it moves along the length of the array. That is to say, the sky lines are not parallel to each other. But the image is blunted, or is blunted far or sector shape. The superficial region of the image has a broad curve shape. Convex sequential array can be electro electronically focused. Uh, may provide pulse wave Doppler, color Doppler in addition to the real time to the display and the M mode. The disadvantage is here, the footprint is large, about 10 centimeter, but has a much wider field of view as compared to the rectangular linear array, or rectangular linear 
a sequential array. The transistor also can be more easily angled such that only a portion of the transducer footprint is in contact with the skin. This provides more flexibility than linear sequential array, which have a flat surface. This makes it a very popular transistor for uh, abdom abdomen and obstetric scanning. In between rib scanning is also feasible with this, with a convex uh, convex sequential array, but it is impracticable with linear sequential. There is, there is a comparison between them. So since it can be electronically focused, um, no moving part can be readily wear out. But the disadvantage is that a large acoustic footprint would require large contact area with the skin to construct image. They cannot be used when acoustic window is small. And when an element or crystal of a linear array malfunction, a single line of image data extending downward will, will be lost. So the remainder of the image is essentially unaffected. Yeah. And this is an image of a convex sequential array transducer and a sketch of the field of view. And that compares the linear and the convex. So linear phase array, these are, this refers to electronic sector transducers. The crystals are arranged in a straight line, but the array is very small. The image of the field, the image of field of view is sector, but relatively narrow field of view. So the fundamental difference between the phase array and the linear array is the way in which the beam is fired. In a phase array, multiple electronic signals are used to create single acoustic pores. All the piezoelectric elements in the array are fired nearly simultaneously to produce each pulse and each crystal by its own um, will produce electronic spikes. But nanoseconds phasing delay are used to focus and steer the beam electronically through the entire uh, sector field of view. Beam steering is electronic. The sector angle of about 90 degrees are created when all the components of the transducer remain uh, motion motionless. Focusing is electronic. So the focal depth on the phase array is phase array system is controlled by the the, the operator or the sonologist. The resonance system alters the electronic pattern that exists that sorry that excites the the crystal. So the pattern is changed for each successive sound pause so that the beam can be swept to create image plane like you have here. This is a sketch that shows you how the beam is uh, out, uh, changed in direction to create the single uh, image. The advantages, it is electronically focused and there are no moving parts that will be uh, weared off over time. The footprint is considerably small. The main advantage is beam steering and the sonographer controls the dynamic focusing which permits <clears throat> a sector field of view from a small footprint. So the primary application for the phase array transducer is in echocardiography due to the need for a versatile array with a Doppler capability that also has small um, intercoastal footprint. The disadvantage here the, is, is minor, minor disadvantage is the, that the beam steering can introduce some grating lobe artifacts. Now these are 
disadvantage again is, is expensive and it's complex. So when a single crystal in a phase array transducer malfunctions, the steering and the focusing of the beam becomes uh, erratic. So you basically will have serious problem, unlike the other case where only a single line of scan. What are the importance of dynamic focusing? You know that the conventional focusing with lens or mirror creates a sound beam with particular fixed focal length. With phase array, the electronic delay pattern determines the depth of the focus. So since the pattern can be changed, so too can the location of the focus. So the operator may adjust the control of the ultrasound system to manipulate the depths of the focus to correspond to the depth of the clinically important anatomy. Convex phase array uh, transducers uh, consist of piezoelectric crystals that are arranged in a uh, curve archi architecture, which helps to create sector shape image. And the array is small. It's similar to the phase, the linear phase array uh, steering and focusing is achieved by electronic pattern. In the annular phase, annular array transducer, um, you need to know that the word annular basically means ring. Yeah, so annular array has this concentric ring, more like a donut shape of crystal. Typically, it will consist of a ring of five to nine elements, each of which is wired and isolated from its own neighbors. So the overall diameter of the array is about one to two centimeter. In annular array, all the elements fire together to produce each scan line similar to what you have in the phase array. But Unlike phase array, it is unable to electronically stare um, because of its ring structure. So in order to sweep the beam through the region of interest, the annular array has to be mechanically uh, scanned by oscillating the array elements in the same way as mechanical single element transducer. So this produces a pi or sector shape or um, field of view. However, it is multiple elements, or rather it's multiple elements have the capability of electric, electronical um, focus, just like you have in the array transducer. So annular Array transducers were popular in the 80s and in the early 90s due to their small footprint and their ability to electronically focus the beam. But now, the annular array has almost been entirely replaced by phase array for cardiac work and by the convex array for abdominal and uh, obstetrical ultrasound. So this is an example of the linear phase array and the annular array. So what about combined transducer designs? Now each transducer has specific strength and weakness. So to optimize the image uh, and uh, image quality vis-a-vis -vis clinical utility of their system, manufacturers have combined different transducers technology into a single transducer or probe. For example, phase electronic have been introduced into linear sequential array probes to provide electronic sharing and multiple focal zones. Now this combination is called vector array. And it is a combination, the vector array is a combination of linear sequential array and linear phase array technology that uses um, electronic phasing during pulse generation to steer the 
outgoing pulse and sound beam in different direction. The scan lines originate from different points across the top of the display and travels out in different direction. The image format is similar to that of the convex array, a sector shape image or a blunt fan or a trapezoid, right? Except that the contact surface or the footprint is smaller and the top of the display is flat. Like you have in this case, this is a vector array. What about virtual convex sequential linear array? These are identical to the straight line array um, transducers that produce the rectangular display format. But with the virtual convex option, the operator has the option of selecting a virtual convex display format. In this display format, the linear array electronically stares the scan line at both the size of the image at an angle that produces the trapezoid image format with a wider field of view that is similar to that of the convex array. And the main advantage of the virtual convex is its wider field of view. And there is the parallelogram display format. You know, phasing technology is applied to the um, rectangular linear sequential array in order to steer the beam at an angle for Doppler study, which is um, angle dependent. So this results in the parallelogram display format that is useful for Doppler imaging. The size and location of the parallelogram color box can be changed by the operator during the real-time examination. And the main ad advantage of this display format is that it allows a sequential linear array to obtain a good Doppler angle for vessels that are parallel to the skin surface. Now, this feature is especially uh, uh, useful for evaluation of carotid artery. Now, the main advantage is that the sound beam is electronically stared in order to produce the angle box, which may produce grating lobes and associated artifacts like you have in this um, image is a parallelogram display format the color doppler image with a sequential linear array featuring the parallelogram shape that is stared yeah there's an example of that compound scanning or compound imaging here you have the electronic beam steering that is used to insulate the same uh, region of tissue with pulses from several different angles. Now, each time the beam is swept along the array, it in interrogates the tissue from a different angle. Now, the data from these different angles are summed together to produce the final image. The result is that the tissue has, um, has been scanned from several different angles, which produces noise and artifacts, and thus it permits uh, lesion and their borders to be better uh, defined. This is a sketch of the idea, compound imaging. In the first uh, sketch, is rectangular array imaging. The second sketch below is a compound uh, imaging. Now, water bath scanners have a water bath, acoustic standoff, but uh, is built into, into the probe. The bath is placed between the the sweeping or the steering mechanism of the, of the probe, of the transducer, and the patient. Yeah? So it's in between the patient's skin and the transducer. You have that water bath. So a large transducer, it has a large transducer footprint, which is placed on the patient. The superficial structures are 
image more clearly with water bath scanners. Now they allow with direct contact, which will be difficult for for that to happen. Now this rationale, this is rationale for small path uh, scanners. Array focusing. What does the beam from an array look like? Now it depends on the type of array. Annular arrays produce a symmetrical beam profile because the elements are circular. This means that the beam width and slice thickness are usually equal. This symmetrical beam profile is one of the major advantages of annular array. Now, when the operator electronically focuses the beam width, the slice thickness is focused. On the other hand, Linear and phase array use rectangular ele um, elements and produce asymmetrical beams. Electronic fo uh, focusing will control the beam width, but mechanical focusing usually use um, usually we use a lens or a crystal shaping uh, to control the slice thickness. Now this means that the operator has electronic control over the beam width but does not have control over the slice thickness. So slice thickness is mechanically set at the time of uh, transducer construction. Now, matrix array, which is called uh, one half D array. So in an effort to improve upon the mechanical fix, we are focusing in the Z axis of the linear array. Manufacturers have introduced linear array that have several rows of elements in the, in the transducer. These new arrays are constructed with five to six rows of 128 elements instead of a single row of 128 elements in the, in the standard um, linear array. So the, the advantage of this is that it now permits electronic focusing in the Z as the generic term for this array is called the one half D array because there are only five to six elements in the Z axis compared to the 128 elements in the X axis. So you have um, companies like uh, manufacturers like uh, GE Philips, they call this uh, mix array. So typically the footprint of this array is a little wider than the footprint for a standard linear array. Transsonography or um, endosonography. The transducers um, here, are the endovagina, endorectal, transesophagia, intravascular transducers, and they are specially designed uh, miniatures of real time linear or phase array transducers, which are mounted on probes that can be inserted into various body cavities, sinuses, or vessels. The, the field of view generated by different arrays are uh, the, uh, rectangular, trapezoid, or sector. Now, the relative advantage of advantage and disadvantage of these three display formats will be summarized yeah, here, the rectangular format is the most popular format for superficial structure and for peripheral vascular uh, Doppler study as such as uh, carotids. The trapezoid format, that is a convex array, is mostly popular for general abdomen, ab abdomen and uh, obsanguine studies. By the electronic sector format, remains most popular for echocardiography since the acoustic window is very limited and a small footprint is required. So this format is also used for scanning the liver and the gallbladder intercostally. So this is a sketch of the format, the sector rectangular tra tra trapezoid and these are the advantage and disadvantage. For the sector, we have a small footprint transducer. 
wide far uh, far field disadvantage is that's a narrow field and um, the uh, interpolation will be needed in the far field but the re rectangular is relative wider field the far field is equal to the near field parallel scan lines have less and you require less interpolation the disadvantage is, is just that the, the footprint is large Trapezio, it has a relatively near uh, uh, field which is wide and the far field is wide also. Disadvantage, this large footprint transducer is kind of wide, very wide. Interpolation is also needed in the far field. So you have the duplex and the uh, triplex imaging. Modern diagnostic ultrasonography will require the use of excellent imaging system that combines with uh, Doppler uh, capabilities. So a duplex system de describes a real-time imaging system combined with pulse Doppler, while a triplex will describe a real-time imaging system combined with pulse uh, Doppler and color Doppler imaging capability. Like you have here, you have the B mode display with sector format. Uh, you have the B mode display with rectangular format. Here you have the M mode display format. Then you have the duplex imaging with B mode plus power Doppler. And duplex image with B mode with color Doppler. And in the triplex, we have the B mode, color Doppler, and power Doppler. These are the various types of ultrasound uh, uh, probes you could have. You have the 3D, 4D, you have the linear, you have the T-type, biplanar, endocavitary probe, linear probes, micro convex, convex probe, and so on and so forth, and the range of uh, frequencies among them. So thank you for joining this lecture. Please like, share, subscribe, put on your notification to receive all our free lectures. For more information about our paid classes, please send an email to sonoeyesdiagnostics at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me at plus 234-90-914-4175 or visit our online store at sonoeyes.business.site or ambaneg.business.site. Attempt the quiz in the description and leave me a comment. Until the next time when I come your way again, keep learning. Interesting.